In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best starter team defenders that you can actually afford, including some super pacey center backs that somehow are super fast, an old man who is actually faster than Prime, Virgil van Dijk, and lots more other defenders that you'll be able to afford and put into your team on day one. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys drop a thumbs up on it and hit that subscribe button down below. And without further ado, let's get into our first player, Kepler, Lava, Lava, Ron, Lima, F Pepe. And yes, you're seeing that right. That is Pepe's pace. This Pepe is faster than Virgil van Dijk in FIFA 22. Um, I don't really know why. Um, but a lot of the defenders that we're going to be going over today have got an insane pace boost. And I I'm so serious. Off League looks like the move as far as uh, starter teams go because they're often going to be quite cheap. And obviously our first one here is Pepe. 80 pace. I'm really a big fan of that with 87 physicality and 82 defending. Now, obviously, we don't have every single little um, stat. But Portuguese ones seem to be, you know, these Portuguese players, we're seeing a lot of their ratings. They seem to be very, very good. And, and I like it because eventually you can, uh, you know, lead up and link to Ronaldo. See? My price prediction for Pepe is probably going to end up being around uh, 5, 6, 7, 8K maybe. I don't see him being too high just because he is on Porto. Um, and yes, he's a very good card, but I just don't see him going too much more than that. Next up, we have Pretzel Kimpembe. He actually, again, looks like a sick card, very similar to Pepe, but he does have a lot better links. He is 83 rated, uh, but with 81 pace, 83 defending, and 86 physical, I'm actually a pretty big fan of this card too. However, because he is on PSG, he is French, I'm probably going to see him around 20 to 30k. Um, yes, it's still starter team quality, and he'll definitely be in quite a few teams because he just looks like a, you know, rundown version of Varane. But this will be a good one when you're trying to link a lot of teams, especially between Prem and, and other leagues because of those French links. I do like Kempembe, but like I said, probably going to be like 20, 30k. Next up, we have another really, really interesting Liga Nos card, uh, Lucas Verism Verizimo Ver... However you pronounce his name... Again, a really nice card that you can actually link to Pepe and then other Brazilians. Uh, 81 pace, 80 defending, and 79 physical. Again, just so off league. Again, I see this card being like 5, 6, 7k at the start of the game. I just think that these off league cards are still not going to be too much of interest. But, you know, him and Pepe at the back, that's a really, really strong back line for very, very cheap. Next up on our list of defenders, we actually have our first fullback, and that's Junior Furpo. Obviously playing at Leeds now with the Spanish links. I find these links really interesting, by the way. Uh, he only has 81 pace, 71 passing, 72 dribbling, 75 defending, and 76 physical. Obviously, we don't know the little stats. But he interests me because he is a non-rare card. Uh, he only has 81 pace and the defending's below 80. But I feel like his stats are so balanced. And, and 81 pace is still very good at the start of FIFA. I feel like this could be a card that goes under the radar and again sits at around a price range of 5k you're able to put him in prem teams and this is a card i think that you can get you know the full value of your 5k for like i feel like at the start of the game this guy will well be well worth the price until you can finally upgrade to those higher tier cards next up we have another player who must have grown a third leg or something wait yeah, Vertonghen, guys, he has 76 pace somehow now, 83 defending, 78 physical. He's another guy that you just got to throw in the starter budget team's, you know, list because, again, 76 pace, 83 defending, he's very good. He's in that Liga Nos League again, which means you can link him to the other two players we already talked about. He just looks like a very decent, decent card to use. And again, he's only 81 rated. I can't see him being more than like 6K on the first day, maybe even less just because he's got the 76 pace and he's off league. Uh, he's a card that I'm really going to keep an eye on because again, that's like the same speed as Virgil van Dijk. He's also six foot two, which helps. Uh, so a card I'm keeping an eye on. Uh, Belgian links, they're not really going to matter too, too much as far as nationality goes, because there's not really a lot of starter players on the back line that would really matter i guess one of my favorite defenders akanji from dortmund uh i'm excited to see his card as well 81 pace 81 defending this one's actually gonna end up being a little bit more expensive which is why i was a little hesitant to even include him on the list he's probably gonna end up being similar to kempembe at like 88 not 85 25 like 15 to 20k probably 
uh, just because of the Dortmund links. Now, the reason why I was hesitant to put him on the list, despite him having, you know, decent dribbling, decent physicality, and, you know, good pace in defending, is he just is very tough to link. I feel like we didn't get the best amount of Bundesliga starter teams as far as like cheap budget defenders go or even midfielders because there's not really too much you know you can really link to as far as like the wing backs go another center back or so I'm just not a huge fan of the links that Akanji brings really the only player that you know as far as midfielders would link to him is Emre Chan because he got an absolutely insane card which we'll be covering in the midfielders version of this video tomorrow Juan Bernat, another, 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 I think another year of him being a non-rare. Wrong. Uh, but another non-rare card that is actually really good. 82 pace, 76 defending, 82 dribbling, and 78 passing for a fullback. I think those are really, really great stats for a card like him. Uh, with the PSG links to maybe Kempembe. But he also has the Spanish links, which means you can kind of move them around a little bit and, you know, get some other leagues involved. I am a huge fan of his card. Now he is on PSG, so he's not going to be completely, you know, dirt cheap. But I want to say between like around 10-ish K is probably going to be his price around opening, you know, week. Uh, maybe even less, honestly, just because he is a non-rare. And I feel like because he's a non-rare, he's going to be packed a lot more, um, which could bring his price down quite a bit. Next up, we have another league in those guy, man. I mean, I don't know what's up with the Portuguese league. They got buffed so, so much. Wilson Manafa, but this guy's got 87 pace at right back, 70 defending, 76 dribbling, not the greatest defensive and physical stats. Again, we don't know the little in detail stats, but 87 pace, that is a huge, um, you know, kind of boost. And again, he's just another guy that links to the other Liga Nos defenders. Like I really like Liga Nos as a complete defense as a whole. They have literally the complete back line back there. And again, it's another non-rare gold in Liga Nos, who's probably going to be less, I honestly think this card could be less than 5k, he looks like a gem uh, of a starter team guy. Next up, and we'll see what his price does come in at, Reese James, uh, you know, the Chelsea man, obviously he's going to be a very popular pick, so it's going to be a little tough to include, uh, you know, a, a price prediction for him, because it depends how much he gets hyped up. Now with 80 pace, 76 defending, 80 physical, all around, he's a very balanced card, but with someone like Reese James with the Chelsea and English links, you know, this card could probably end up being pushed over 10k. He's 81 rated this year, uh, which is a very nice boost. So I don't really know what his price is going to come in at. I do think he's going to be a little bit more on the expensive side for defenders just because, you know, of his great links that he has. And he looks like a decent card. Next up, we have Grimaldo, and he is another really interesting card from, yes, Liga Nos. 87 pace, 83 dribbling. Now, he is 82 rated this year, which is a little bit of a, a decrease from last year. As far as price predictions go, he's probably going to be a little bit more on the expensive side. I want to say, you know, around the 10 ish K mark, probably. But again, he's just an off league guy. Uh, Spanish links, too, which are really nice. Uh, and again, he links to all those other Liga Nos players, you know, I, I'm really pushing for a Portuguese starter team, honestly, because they looks very good on the back line of things, a very quick defend defensive players that we have. A lot of defenders got a lot of pace boost this year, so it's going to be interesting to see how that all plays out. And finally, one that's probably going to be uh, extra expensive anyways, Tomori, a Serie A defender, English links. He's going to be one that goes up a, a good amount, guys. Uh, 82 pace, 80 defending. But again, he's only 79 rated. Uh, he only has 79 physical. His passing is not that great. His dribbling is not fantastic. So again, he makes the cheap defenders list because he's probably going to be sitting around the 10-ish K mark, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. Uh, probably honestly a little less because we don't really have too many Serie A starter guys that I really looked at and, and enjoyed. Um, but I, I like him. I think he always is a good card to use in FIFA. He was a good one last year. Obviously, he had the Chelsea links at the start of last year, so that did kind of help increase his value. So let's see what he comes in at with AC Milan this year. So that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you guys drop a thumbs up. Let me know who's going to make your starter team, and let me know if I missed any players. I mean, there there is an entire database full of them, so it, it would make sense if I did. But uh, again, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you for the support recently. It's been insane, and until next time, guys. Peace.